my voice is the new studio tour, aka Yummy has become a harder edition. So let's start with the funnest part of the last video. Griezis, Griezis, Sedi, Guli, Velvies, Odria, Prasi, Prasi, Vasi, Vasi, Vasi. Oh, good girl, good girl, good girl! Recently I came across my old studio tour video and I realized that not only has my studio changed, I've also become sort of a hoarder. So, <laughs> let's go through all of it now, how it looks like now. And start, starting from this part, we have the crib of the studio engineer, same crib, Gucci, works perfectly fine. It's a bit old though, so kind of don't want to get rid of it because it's... Uh, it's the studio engineer's first crib and she actually does enjoy this more than the other cribs she has and she has quite a few cribs. Going to the gear side we have a uh, Yamaha something something Yamaha Reface DX then we have the thing that's collecting the dust the M Audio something something and behind there that, that's my uh, DDJ1000 we, whoa, we don't mention this. <laughs> Starting from the top, the face reveal machine. If I'm not careful, like right in there, you'll be able to see my face. Here's my boomer vitamins, my boomer supplements. If I do not take those, my, my life hurts. <laughs> we have like vitamin D. We have magnesium B6 and omega fish oil. Good for your heart. We can have a thing that Fuck. I have a thing called well man because I'm the original well man and like a probiotic or some shit like that. When I said I will kill my studio monitors last, the JBL ones, I lied. These are the KRK uh, something something 8s. They are the big ones. The reason I got these, it's a much uh, thicker sound, if you can say so. They, they have a much wider range of the frequencies that it reproduces. This one goes lower than the JBL one did and this one has like an auto off function so if I do not supply any sound to it, they just turn off. No need to have a switch somewhere to turn them off. And yeah, boy! A whole bunch of power banks! Um, why do I need so many power banks? I have no idea, but this one has a <laughs> power socket. <laughs> and this, this is for my heartburn. How, how do you know that Yami is a literal boomer at this point? It's fucking heartburn medicine on the studio desk. Moving over to the monitors and stuff. So, this is the monitor I used to have here. This is the uh, something something by AOC. And this is also a something something by AOC. But this time wider. <laughs> and like this wide monitor, it really does uh, the work of two monitors. So I really, I'm actually considering getting rid of this one because all I have on here uh, most of the time is just like Spotify or something. And if you're curious about my PC specs, those are my PC specs. I have a mouse, this time not crusty looking, and I have a keyboard, this time also not crusty looking. And I also have a mouse pad on a mouse pad. Have you ever seen a flex like this? For the headphones I still use the Audio Technica M50Xs. These are not the ones from the original video, those ones sort of uh, broke the hinges on those ones and uh, I ordered these and while I was waiting for these I fixed the old ones, like the, the hinges on the old ones, by 3D printing like a bracket. So I have two pairs of these now, yay! And for uh, another reference I have a Biodynamic uh, DT990 Pro. Um, these are open back headphones I use to just check my mixes on, they're, they're here. To get plugged in, listen to a mix once or twice, do a little tweak and then they're unplugged and they're here. <laughs> As you can see it's unbearably hot in here, it's like plus 25.9 in the studio. Fucking hell, this is very atypical for Latvia for, uh, for the heat to be this severe. Moving on to the microphone, I still use this thing, the, the Shure SM7B I think it was. This time I remember, so I don't, don't call it the sure something something. <laughs> Imagine if I still got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been holding up nice. It's been years since I had it, and uh, yeah, highly recommended. Even though it's quite expensive. Here's the other studio monitor. This time with a TNG era <laughs> compatch. 
Oh my god, can those fucking trucks stop for a second? Fuck! Here I have a laptop that I use when I'm traveling to produce on, and here I have a drawing tablet. Yay! There's a massive mess of cables behind there, like, oh my god, no, no. You know? That, that's sort of how I deal with my problems in life. Instead of, like, you know, having it neat, I sort of create a massive mess behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Almost forgot, uh, I have a different audio interface now, I have the Steinberg UR22C 32-bit audio interface. In what way is this better than the Behringer one, you might ask? In the fact that it's 32-bit, that's basically the only difference. Here I have like a uh, MIDI port breakout thing, so I have four MIDI ports. Thank you, ambulance! Jesus! It really helps with these like four breakout MIDI ports uh, to connect some of the stuff I will show you later in the video. And this is like a USB hub that I have stuff plugged into like my Xbox 360 wireless thingy. And this is my computer in question. Here's the Xbox 360 pad. You can turn it on and it connects to the wireless thingy I showed. Oh, how I miss the time! There was only the PP practice amp under the table. Now it's a printer. Now it's a Sega Mega Drive, and a 3D printer, and a vacuum cleaner, and a whole bunch of fucking paper and shit, and glasses, and I... What the fuck? Is that a fucking kettle? <laughs> what is a kettle doing under my table? What the hell? Well, well we're down here. Um, a knife. A knife. A knife. A passport of my country. Please ignore the hand lotion. It's literally for my hands. I have dry skin. Here we have the uh, Denon DJ Prime Go. The reason why I'll probably get rid of the Pioneer DDJ 1000. This is an all-in-one unit. Like uh, it doesn't need a laptop to DJ on it. Plus, it doesn't even need power. So I can unplug it from power, right? And I can just. Hold this button, it just and it just turns on, and there's no power connected to it at all. There's no, there's no nothing, and it just works. This is, this is premium type engineering. I I, I was worried that uh, it will have problems uh, with the fact that the uh, like low high and low mid and high knobs are not here, but now you just get used to them being here, and it's it's fully functional. I can do absolutely anything I can on the DDJ 1000 zone. But kind of I'm not a good DJ, so take it with a grain of salt, I like this unit. To keep this shit authentic, I just left some synths on the table, so I was sampling this thing, this is like a Behringer Pro 1, it's a clone of a, some, some old school synthesizer. And to keep keeping it authentic, I kept the rhythm designer out, because I'm doing funk now a bit more, and uh, I was sampling the cowbell, and I was sampling the 808 on this thing. It is what it is, it's a clone of the Roland 808, TR-808. You might see that the big Latvian flag and the small American flag has had a bunch of flags added to it, so... It's a thing that exists in my studio. You know what, I think I'll close the window because this is getting annoying. Here we have a uh, portable audio recorder. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have some Foley-ish sounds in my, in my songs now. This is what I used to record it. This is what I used to use to record my, uh, like, <laughs> sirens and stuff. You know, I would go outside, I would break into a car, I would record a wee woo wee woo and then put it into a song. <laughs> but yeah, now, now I use this thing to, to record that sort of stuff on it. It has, like, inputs on there, so it's a good travel interface as well. Plus, it lets me record uh, stuff with something that looks like the head of a troll. Do you remember those troll dolls? You could style the hairs on, so yeah, it is what it is. Going forward, welcome to the hoarder zone. I have literally become a hoarder. This is this is why this video is called the way it is, because I'm a hoarder now. I have started hoarding guitars, I have started uh, hoarding like prop guns, like everything's a prop gun in here. There's like guitars upon guitars and prop guns upon prop guns and some peaky blinders. <laughs> what the fuck do I have this? If you remember from the last video that I did two years ago, I had like a guitar perched up 
in here and this is the guitar this is how it turned out and uh, black 3.0 it was really really black for a really really short time now it's not the blackest mattest black now it's just <laughs> Dirty, but I but I suppose you're not supposed to manhandle it as much as I have. Yeah, so the paint doesn't really uh, hold up to actual use. This is what I use to pump the muscles. Mm. This used to be the Gopnik guitar, now it's just a guitar. This is the Ibanez from the first video, this is a Fender Stratocaster. I don't know how interested you guys are in this shit. This is an Ibanez something something. This is a Fender Jaguar something something player series. The obligatory show, show of the Yummy mask. This is my hero mask. This is the one you see in the photos. Up there, fuck it out. That's my uh, actually play live I can breathe mask. And this is my spare mask. So I have three now. Hooray for hoarding. <laughs> this is Pepe. <laughs> Yeet! Let's go over the amps real quick. This is a made in Russia rectifier clone. It's it's a preamp of the Mesa Boogie dual rectifier. So if I want a rectifier sound out of this Black Star, this is what I turn on and it actually does sort of sound like a rectifier. This is a Line 6 Pod Go, I think it's called. Yeah, it's Pod Pod Go. Can create a lot of sounds with the bonus of it being this small and not taking up a whole shelf so basically everything you see here fits into this thing we have an amp that says fender on it but it's not a fender it's a harley benton that i 3d printed a fender thingy on it because i replaced the speaker in it with a celestian vintage 30 this makes no sense to anyone who's not a guitar player and it's yeah it doesn't explain why i made the fender logo well it, it sounds much better you know the the, the logo adds a lot of uh, tone <laughs> <laughs> this is my old black star we already seen this uh, this is my pedal board right now um, what do we have here um, a lot of actually can I go on a little bit of a rant you look at this thing this is like uh, an Ibanez tube screamer right it's an analog vintage amazing best thing in the world right a transistor pedal when it has transistors in it it's called analog vintage amazing perfect but when you put those same transistors into an amplifier, it becomes a disgusting transistor and amplifier. How does that work? Why is <laughs> why are pedals analog but amplifiers transistor? Can somebody explain this to me? Here's the Yummy has a problem section. I have a lot of uh, guitar pedals. I use them for both guitar and uh, synths and stuff. Here's the Boss Metal Zone. On a pedestal it deserves to be on. <laughs> Here's some vape stuff, please do not demonetize. Um, there's some Volkas in there, like synthesizers, guitar picks, synthesizers, sound cards. And here's something that, that feels illegal to have. It's um, made in Russia guitar tubes by Electro Harmonics. This, this feels illegal to have in the current zeitgeist. A small amp that says Marshall on it. It's neither an amp, neither a Marshall. <laughs> a Joyo band amp. Something that also sounds like a Mesa Boogie rectifier thing. Wait, almost forgot, almost forgot this thing. This thing is the studio microphone that I use now. Um, the, I do rough vocals on this, and the actual vocals I do on this one, it's a made in Latvia by Jay-Z Microphones, uh, Black Hole. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, this is just a really, really good microphone. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has a gold capsule in it. Mm, there's gold in the microphone. <laughs> the hoarderiness continues up there. You can see a lot of hoarder shit. Like AKs and stuff, and up there, that's that thing up there is a uh, TX81Z with some preamplifiers and shit. That's the original donk machine. I have sampled it to shit, so I don't really plug it in anymore, but I still own it. And as for the behind the door stuff, um, it's basically unchanged, except I have an AC unit. <laughs> I fucking love climate change, man. Climate change is amazing. 10 out of 10 IGN. 
The chair reveal, the chair is still the DX Racer King. And it hasn't failed me in two or three years, however long it is, I have had this. So yeah, this is the whole studio! Yay! <laughs> Thank you for watching this video and giving Yummy Studio a look. Also, I just noticed that these sound panels are not level. And I will not be able to unsee this. Thank you for watching. <laughs>